I was lucky enough, uh, very fortunate enough, one of, one of my clients, bless her, she was like, look, you know, a lot of my family are up north, so would you like a ticket? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go along. And great idea, great idea, loved it. I executed it like an absolute novice. You're listening to The Big Drill. We're recording. We're live. We are live, and welcome to The Big Drill, guys. Welcome, welcome. It's Will here and Garzy. Hi, Garzy. Hello, Will. Today, what will we be talking about? Well, today, I mean, we're doing a little Christmassy type, seasonal type focus. And recently, I've been asked by my clients really topical question: When do you do your Christmas shopping, Will? That 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 was the deep. That's that's what we're getting deep on. Yeah, today. Christmas, mate. I'm telling you now, there is an art to Christmas shopping. Really, there is a method, and there is a way that it can be executed for it to be done efficiently. Christmas shopping, obviously, it's inevitable. That's not true. Not for you, though. <laughs> so, for people that don't know, I don't. So, I never have celebrated Christmas. So no. the stress you're talking about or the art or the madness or whatever it is, I can't relate, unfortunately. And this is why I feel I need to share it with you. Okay. And I also need to share it with the listeners of how over the years, some of the experiences I've had Christmas shopping have been revelationary. Wow. That was a big word you used there. I know. I know it was a big word. I've been practicing that all day. And... I had one today actually can I can I ask something of course you can what's the initial problem why are people stressing well the thing is people like and this 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 is the thing about Christmas shopping okay it's a stress for society or for those in society that engage in mass consumerism over a short period of time which is basically what it is a financial stress a financial stress a logistical stress as well. Oh. So I'm going to share with you how I have grown to work things out with Christmas shopping. Now, I've learned some things from my mates as well. Um, when I was younger, I used to get my sister to do it, pretty much. That's a good method. I mean, for... it's, it's pretty <laughs> safe, you know. That... Did, did you make her pay for them as well? Mm, I did. <laughs> <laughs> And you see, but this this is the crux of the matter. This is the crux of the matter, right? I'm 34 years old, mm-hmm. right? And I've stopped doing that now. I'm glad but to hear that. Now my sister doesn't get my Christmas presents for me. I get my Christmas presents for the people I'm getting them for myself. However, my brother, who is an older brother, 44 years old, mm-hmm. still gets her to do that. What's the reason? I mean, I don't really want to go into that. Okay. <laughs> we, Fine. Does there need to be a reason? <laughs> but Fine. then, but then, wait, wait. We're yeah. going to go another generation. We're going to not a generation, but we're going to go another age step up. My dad mm-hmm. still gets my sister to do the same thing as well. So, what your family does basically is bundle up the stress. And put it onto one human being. Put it onto one human being. <laughs> Not I don't anymore. Uh, there was there was stages that I used to happen. To be fair, my brother in law is very good, and he actually is quite efficient at the, the shopping side of things as well. So, so that's very good. But I did do that for a good few years, and uh, you know that was that was one method of Christmas shopping. Was it out of laziness? Mm, yeah, and okay. and I was quite young. I was young at the time as well, you know. So. But one Christmas, one Christmas, I got everyone a Christmas present with the help of my sister and everything like that. And guess whose Christmas present I forgot to get? Hers. Yeah. That is terrible. I know. That's actually really bad. I know. I think I wrapped up a troll pencil or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't, Garzy, don't. That's really bad. I know. I know. It's terrible. No wonder you start buying your own presents. <laughs> I thought like that. That, that's, that was the last time you did it. It was not good, mate. It was not good. But um, yeah, so that was one method. Um, another method that I think has uh, has kind of like come on into fruition. I've, I've, I've dipped into over the years is the Amazon purchase and wrap 
first introduced to me by my friend James Harrower. Hi, James. Hi, James. Who basically went through a good proportion of his time simply ticking the tick box on Amazon gift wrap okay. and ordering whatever he could. And I, I think one one uh, on Christmas he boasted something like 90% of his presents were bought and wrapped and delivered by Amazon, ready to put straight under the tree. That does sound like a good method. <laughs> I've never actually ticked that box, ever. That's how much presents I buy for people. Well, I mean, so obviously you don't celebrate Christmas. No. So... What, you know, have you ever been and had to buy an abundance of presents in one go? No, I actually haven't. I envy you. <laughs> um, I mean, one day, because I, I celebrate Eid. Okay. Um, Tell me what that is. That's the celebration in Islam. Mm-hmm. Um, usually, there's two in a year. Let's just call it the equivalent. Two. So two Christmases. It's basically two Christmases. A bit greedy. But okay. It's a bit greedy. Yeah. One is for fasting for okay. a whole month. I think that's well yeah, deserved. Yeah, that's fair play, mate. And Definitely. You, yeah. yeah. And um, usually what happens is when you're kids, when I was a kid, yeah. you'd be a little kid and Eid would come. And then okay. all the adults, you might not even be related to them, would give you like some money. Money? Yeah, like five pounds. And oh, right. So just like the equivalent of a your present. Parents would give you, would, yeah, your parents might get you presents. Yeah. But... Okay. All the other adults, so you end up being really rich as a child during nice. Eid times, nice. and you kind of go to school, and you can buy whatever you want for oh, food. Right. It's like it's the good times. Food. I like the way how you went straight to food. Yeah. You buy whatever you want for food. For food. What, what else would you need as a child? <laughs> you know, um, pair, pair of new trainers. But so far, I've got no kids of my own. Have I given out Eid money? I think I have. I mean, the, thing, the fact you're having to think hard I about can't, it. I can't, like, I just... I'm not very... I'm I'm the type of person that doesn't even really like to ce- like celebrate... Anything. Not even my birthday. No. I just kind of go, oh, well... What about if you... What about celebrating a Call of Duty win for your team? Yeah, we'll celebrate that. <laughs> we'll celebrate that. Actually, recently, we I, I went to celebrate my cousin's birthday. We went to eat food and I just bought everyone extra food food that's it. food is the way to go so clearly if there's anyone out there that wants to win Gazi over in any way the way that you're going to do that is categorically with food without a doubt can Fair I enough. ask something you can please are you the type of person that buys yourself a present absolutely what did you were you going to get yourself oh well, I haven't actually. I've bought. I, I tell you what. Um, I, I bought something today which I can't mention um, because it's a surprise. For yourself, not for myself. You're surprising yourself, and you can't mention it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am actually. Um, I'm surprising. I'm surprising a family member, so I can't mention it just in case they listen. So I know I think they might listen to this. So, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I I managed to get that today, but that has been of some benefit to me as well. You but, sound yeah. You sound very proud of yourself over this present. Well, I, think, I think I know what you're talking yeah. about because you mentioned it. Yeah, to me, so, I'm not yeah, going to say it. Don't but. say it. Yeah, but that was um that was a pretty that was a pretty good purchase. But I will. There's a couple of things that I sometimes I like waiting until to see what I fancy, and then yeah, I'll get something at Christmas. I work hard all year, and uh, so why not? So you, you don't know what you're going to get yet. I've got an idea. Yeah, but go on. I'm, well, I want to start. I want to start playing the piano again. So you're gonna buy yourself a piano? Not a piano, a keyboard. Okay, that's that's all right. Like a that's decent not... one, like quite quite a good one. So, um, yeah, maybe like a there's a, a de- bit of DJ equipment as well for like producing music. So yeah, I've, I'm looking at doing that. You know, kind of learning. So soon you're gonna be composing our <laughs> intro. <laughs> I might actually do that. <laughs> do a little, do a little intro. A little tune. intro. Yeah, why not? Yeah, um, so but I, I was it's funny because I, I actually I was talking to a client um, this I think it was this morning or yesterday morning and um, this 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 client fantastic fair love him to be it's Ed and um, and he, we were talking and he was like yeah he's uh, one of those that um, I know uh, no, it wasn't Ed sorry you don't even remember your client no, no I do it was it was Alex sorry it was Alex and um, sorry Ed sorry Ed 
we were talking about this with Ed as well, but this is Alex, this is Alex's Alex's story actually. So every year he basically, and this is absolutely uh, when I, when he said this to me, I was like Alex, I was like really, I was like Are you sure you do that every year? He waits until Christmas Eve mm-hmm. and he goes out on Christmas Eve and he buys all his presents on Christmas Eve on the way to the station and then jumps on the train up to up, you know further up England where his family are where he goes and spends Christmas Christmas Eve does all his shopping in probably the busiest place you could ever be Christmas Eve in the middle of London what Oxford Street yeah to be honest he sounds like what I would do if I was forced to buy presents for a lot of people, that's probably what I would like do. or Amazon. Literally, last minute, and he said he said it's great because actually, what happens the last minute is you got no option; you got to get it. So people just get what they get. And they, do they get cheaper as well? I don't know because this is this is this time's is, running out. Well, I don't know they get cheaper, but I think there is in some cases where like sales, a, a Boxing Day sales start Christmas Eve. I've heard this vicious yeah. rumor. I can't confirm whether it's true or not. Yeah, because you're responsible and you buy your presents well ahead of Christmas. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's quite that's quite an interesting like method. Again, I I mean every every man has his method, right? And as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to go out and do that and it works for you, fair play. But that would absolutely. T- I think I have done the Christmas Eve Christmas shopping dash before mm-hmm. um, and I think I've mentally blocked it out of my head being able to remember it because it was so traumatic it was when Woolworths used to be open I don't know if you remember Woolworths that's a long time ago a long long time is ago is that where you went to get the presents <laughs> I think I was like scrapping around for wrapping paper or something so we're not adding that as a tip well I mean listen is, is that is this a tip we're giving we always we always approach things with a balanced a balanced approach you know that's if that's a way you know if you get off on the adrenaline of it being Christmas get off <laughs> you buying presents in the last I'm not saying that Alex gets off on it but you know there's there's a potential you know in a situation whereby oh. you know you're kind of like you're putting putting your uh, putting yourself through it then well that's fair enough if that's what you like that's what you like okay so so far we have Buy your presents on Amazon and get them gift wrapped to save you the trouble. Yeah. Go out on Christmas Eve, forget the days before. Yeah. And do the dash. Do the dash. Get off and do the dash. <laughs> Let's give them at least one more tip. Well, you've got the uh, get your sibling to buy all your presents. Oh yeah. You. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Or just get some other human to do it for you. <laughs> other human. Yeah. Maybe Santa Claus. <laughs> Let's give them a fourth. Um, well, I've actually got an, I've actually got two more. I feel I thought. Oh, two so more. we're gonna go we're top gonna, five. Top five. We're gonna do we're gonna do a bit of a Scrooge one, which I I, I kind of try to steer clear of now. Is uh, put money or a gift voucher in a card. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And then just everyone gets a card with a ten pound gift voucher in. So you're gonna be the guy everyone sees as. He's just gonna give me money. So what happens? When there's two of you giving each other that type of present, there's no point doing it, is there? Well, no, because you could end up being the the cheapskate, where you just give me twenty pounds in the in the card, and I went and gave you a hundred pounds. I've lost that on eighty pounds. Firstly, now. I probably wouldn't give anyone a hundred pound in a card for a start. That's, that's I'm just that's saying that's going to cause some problems. Well, yeah, <laughs> because you're eighty quid down, mate. <laughs> now, hang on a minute. Okay, so, yeah. fine. So the- I, think, I think that's always dodgy territory that one and quite quite honestly it's a pretty it's a pretty lazy ass way of going about it and I I think like I've I've kind of steered clear away from it now like with um with my niece um and and well my niece is rather but my recently my um went to the O2 climbed up the O2 with my mm-hmm. niece yeah um I I loved it she loved it it was really nice to do something she's 15 years old so like you know I think for me now like an experience is much more valuable you know even if it costs the same as what a present would be I think it's just nice to do things together like I'll so. tell you why here's my genius we've got another Ghazi theory on Christmas shopping that he doesn't even do what's the most expensive thing you can give someone most valuable or expensive valuable time that's what you were giving that's what I was giving it wasn't just the experience that's it right. was the fact that you were devoting your time yeah 
which you have a limit of. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. See, so, my tips are way better than yours. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna re- I'm gonna rename your tips now. Uh, Top five laziest <laughs> ways to shop. <laughs> no okay, way. So we've got Amazon gift wraps. We've got give them money. Get someone else to do it. <laughs> And just shop on Christmas Eve. We need one more lazy tip. So no, this is this this isn't actually a very fresh experience I had today. I'm very fortunate enough to get a um, a ticket to the friends and family uh, L'Oreal pre-sale um, like sample sale, not sample sale, but like the stock sale for like a whole range of goods and items. None of which I'm very very you I know about like Armani I know Armani aftershave uh, Yves Saint Laurent um, various like the Bex's 99 house house 99 you know that it's good mate I'm, I'm rubbish with that yeah I'm pretty rubbish or is that well. for your beard yeah and like, and like I, I don't sh- shaving and like okay fine being all fresh in the face and stuff like that okay. so there's a lot of that stuff right I was lucky enough and very fortunate enough one of, one of my clients bless her she was like look you know a lot of my family are up north so would you like a ticket and I was like yeah sure I'll go along and great idea great idea loved it I executed it like an absolute novice okay so I ambled over there we're talking at like I don't know uh, it opens at 10 so I ambled over there 10 what at 10 o'clock p.m. no in the morning okay so like it's a, during the day, ten till six. So I ambled, o- I ambled over there, finished with my client, um, then uh, got hold of that present I was looking for, and I thought, right, I'll amble over there, and um, they said I'll oh, bring a bag, bring bring your bags if you you know if you want bags and stuff like that. So I took my Sainsbury's bag for life. You know, walked, walked, very responsible. Very responsible. You. you know, saving the planet one bag at a time. Walked down into the Novotel where it was, down the escalators, and I was met with a mass of people bundled up right up against this doorway waiting for the doors to open. And I was like, bloody hell. Okay. I've, un- I've underestimated the keenness of people here. And went down the escalator, couldn't get through any further, so you just kind of got blocked in. And then um, through we went into the... Uh, into the into the into the sale. Um, eventually, when the doors open, you know you go in. Every bottleneck, you're getting in. You got your ticket. There's a lot of people getting very antsy, very, very like shirty and like, oh, get out, stop pushing me. And I'm like, oh, it's meant to be. I feel fancy. like you should have went there with your hockey outfit. You know, uh, yeah, maybe to to make sure you don't get hurt. Well, this is it, mate. It was <laughs> little helmet on. Oh, there well. were moments where my heart rate started going. It was a very crowded place, very nervous, a bit anxious. Anyway, okay. I got in there, and um, this is how not. I've got in there quite early, actually. So I got pushed in, so I kind of like just filtered in and went through, and uh, went over to the till. And I, I um, I first time I've ever ever done this actually. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure kind of like what to do how many what can I get you know and I look over my shoulder and people are sprinting past me <laughs> and I'm like what the hell like people are literally I'm like oh are they all, are they all right yeah. and they're like just go and fill your baskets and I said I heard a rumour you could only have five items and they were like no five items of one one particular oh, thing. so five, five five Armani codes five each yeah, yeah, you know yeah. you can only so I was like oh so they yeah, you just go and fill your baskets turn around and literally there are people climbing over it's like Black Friday that's what I was going to it sounds like Black Friday in America oh god it was just like what the hell is going on but people obviously are a lot more clued up than I am in that mm-hmm. situation I mean I've, I've got some really nice bits actually and I didn't go crazy I didn't like go around like yeah. um, like uh, pole vaulting over people or spearing people or like you know diving underneath the table I saw someone doing that helping themselves to an already unpacked box. I said, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. And she just looked at me as if I was, she looked at me and went, I'll do what I want, thank you. <laughs> and if that means going under this table and opening this box, I'm going to bloody well do it. Wow. And I was just like, oh, that was a look was enough. You should have recorded this. <laughs> oh my God, I've actually got some footage. But I was just <laughs> like, I was going around and I got a couple of, um, I obviously said, oh, I said to a couple of people, oh, I'm, my sister and uh, so I'm going. I'm going to this uh, 
this this uh, friends and family sale thing, and then I've got a couple of items, and I'm just looking down this row of like it's like a boot fair type setup, and I'm just looking down, and I'm just like. I haven't got a clue what I'm looking for here. So I just went straight over to this girl. I had to lean over a line of people and go, I just said, look, can you take my phone, look at these three photos and point me in the direction wow. where they might be? Bless her, she was an absolute legend. She sorted out for me and I actually got what I wanted to get. So absolutely perfect. But that is one way where you could go in there and you could go boom, 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 boom. All my Christmas shopping done. But you have to get a ticket in the first place. Well, yeah. I mean, you have to okay, you have to be fortunate enough to get a ticket if you know someone that's doing some sort of setup like that that, that works in a. It doesn't mean it doesn't have to be L'Oreal. I'm mean, just saying L'Oreal. It could be. Any. Yeah, it could be like a, I got a client that used to work for, um, like a, a, a shop which had several clothing brands in you know, okay. men's and females, and they had a similar thing, a similar setup. But and, but literally, the people going in there were just like taking loads off. Of the uh, off of the off of the desks that, that that they were set up on, just filling baskets like I don't they weren't even looking what they were. I, know, I was there like I was there going, ch, ch, what does this smell like? And people were just like ransacking it around me. I was like, well, I, I think I'll just take one. <laughs> so they were going to the outside around the edge and just then once they got everything out there, they were filtering off what they wanted and what they didn't want. I think yeah, that sounds what like what I would do as well. Maybe what grab everything? I wouldn't grab everything, <laughs> but I would just. Before they get taken, <laughs> just take one of everything. I was just so it. naive, mate. To be honest with you, I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Okay, so our top five is uh, get someone else to do your shopping for you. Put it on another human being. Put it on another human being. Um, just order off Amazon and let someone else do the wrapping for you yeah. and deliver it for you. Yeah. You don't even have to leave your home. <laughs> Thanks, James Harra. The third was. Just give them money. Give them money, a voucher and in a card. In a card. Or a voucher if you're really stingy. And the fourth was... The Christmas Eve dash. The Christmas Eve dash. And the fifth, and probably the best one, is make sure you've got a hockey outfit. <laughs> Bring the club with you. <laughs> or the hockey stick, sorry. And, and, and multiple bags for and life. multiple bags. And get a ticket to a family and friends sale at sale some sort of like company, whoever, and attack. <laughs> go in deep, and you are set for Christmas, guys. There we go. That's the options you've got to execute your Christmas shopping. Top five lazy ways. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. And um, that was a fun one. A nice little filler. Um, we will do hopefully next one on how to maintain or how to how to do you manage your calories around christmas yeah just as a question which a lot of a lot of clients are asking me at the yeah, moment hey, well what do you do how how you you know what do you do lean up to christmas do you just let loose so i think that'd be a good one to do i think we'll cover that next awesome excellent anything else will no all good from me i'm just going to recover from my uh your traumatic experience <laughs> excellent okay all right. thank next you time, all guys. very much bye bye guys Hi, I'm Will. And I'm Gazi. And thanks for tuning in to The Big Drill. You can also find us on these platforms here. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can find him on Insta. Gazi.92. And me, Will Hawkins Coaching. The links are in the description. And until the next time we drill deep, goodbye. Bye.